Good evening. It is Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. It's day 27 <clears throat> of beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. Oh, I just got done running and this is the first day since last Saturday that I've done my running. So it's been three days since I did my last run. I did the 5K on Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had a really good time and I ran what was to me a really good pace. Um, but it almost didn't happen tonight and I, I'm, get, I'm starting to get mad at myself because I can feel myself getting into old habits and old behaviors. Okay, so I ran this last Saturday. I ran in a 5K and, you know, it was great. Put up a great time. I didn't run Sunday because I take off Sundays. I don't, you know, do my working out on Sundays. Um, Monday, yesterday rolls around and um, I had to be at work really early uh, to help out at our sister property uh, in their restaurant. And then I had a bunch of stuff to do. Yesterday I didn't get off until late and then, so I wound up not running last night. Today I had to be at work super early again um, and I got off late. I didn't get home till after six today. And so I found myself, you know, I'm the kind of guy, you know, winter time rolls around. I start getting really lazy. I start wanting to eat all the, you know, comfort food, all the fall food, you know, all the holiday food. And <clears throat> next thing you know, it's May and I've put on 15 pounds. So I found myself in that same state of mind today where I was coming home today. I was like, okay, I'm going to go running. And then in my mind, I started making all these excuses, dude, you know, it's late. You know, you just ran an awesome 5k this past Saturday. You know, you can take this afternoon off. And I got mad and I, like, I got mad at myself. I was like, dude, stop that. Stop it right now. Um, I was like, you're gonna go running tonight. And I did, I went running. And I hate running in the evenings because a lot of times I've got at least a bunch of water on my stomach. Uh, it's been a good number of hours since I had lunch, but you know, I've been drinking water afternoon, all water all afternoon. And every time I drink water and run, it doesn't make my stomach feel very well at all. Um, so I hate to run in the afternoon, but I said, you know what, I'm doing it. I said, screw it. And I got up and dude it. <laughs> like Dante said to me. Um, but I could feel myself just get, jumping back into that old behavior of, uh, you know what, you don't have to do it today. Um, it, you know, that behavior right there is the one reason why I got overweight in the first place. I've never been obese. I've never would really call myself fat. I've just always had that healthy, you know, beer gut, skinny guy, big gut. You know, I'm the, I'm the typ typical, you know, middle-aged, middle-class white dude and so <clears throat> but that's the entire attitude that got me into having high blood pressure having um you know weight issues being overweight having just bad eating habits you know uh, i'll start to look a little bit better and i'll start to get a little bit of weight loss and then all of a sudden i say wow you know what it's okay to it's okay to have this one thing you know it's okay to have this brownie it's okay to oh it's just a little bit of ice cream well, it's not going to hurt anything you've lost like five pounds or however much it is uh gosh you just went running this morning dude you're still burning calories it's totally fine to eat that and it's that mindset that has gotten me overweight giving me high blood pressure and uh, you, you know quite possibly taking some years off of my life so it's got to stop. I've got to stop with that mindset. And whether it was, a, 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 okay, so I got a win this afternoon. It was a win for me to get up and go running this afternoon. It was a win for me to do that. Um, you know, the old me would have just been like, dude, the uh, sun's going down. Are you kidding me? It's about to get cold outside. Come on, no, man. You can eat some dinner and go to bed and then just do it in the morning. 
well, I haven't run in three days. So, and I'm on a program here. It's a nine week thing. So if I were to have missed, you know, today, uh, I could have said goodbye to this week because I wouldn't have been able to fit enough days running into this week. So, <clears throat> you know, I'd already kind of painted myself into a corner with that. Um, but man, my, my mindset today was just like, Oh, you don't have, you know what? It, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. It's, you know, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. That's absolutely a big deal. If I want to finish getting this weight off of me, and if I want my blood pressure to come down so low that I can get off of blood pressure medicine, yeah, it's absolutely a very important thing for me to, uh, it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for me to change my mindset and to, you know, start living right. You know, I can do all the physical stuff that I want to do and I can, you know, exercise as much as I want to and I can do whatever I need to do. But if my mind isn't right, then no, it's, it's all going to be for nothing. And I have to remind myself of that. I smoked for a lot of years. And when I say a lot of years, I smoked cigarettes for probably 20, 20 years. I smoked cigarettes for about 20 years. After I stopped smoking cigarettes, I started smoking a pipe, which I loved. Number one, not everybody's sophisticated enough to do that, okay? But second, it was just it was just really cool. Um, my body was just craving nicotine, but I knew that I couldn't continue to smoke cigarettes because of all the, did, the added carcinogens and uh, additives that they put in there to keep you addicted to cigarettes. So finally, I just, I quit in 2018. So four years ago, I stopped smoking my pipe. Um, you know, I was still running and stuff all the time and I was getting plenty of exercise, but you know, I was still smoking my pipe. 2018, I put it down for good and I haven't smoked anything since. And I'll be damned if I quit smoking after a total of about 30 years. Now I just turned 50, 30 of those years I smoked. So I'll be damned if I'm going to quit smoking, which I totally loved and die of something else dumber than smoking like high blood pressure or cholesterol something that i could have controlled i'm not going to die because of something stupid after why would i quit smoking if i'm just going to give up on something else and give up on anything else uh so anyway but that's my mind frame i start to lose a little bit of weight i think i'm looking a little bit better and the next thing you know i you know yeah i had that you know pizza or i had you know that ice cream i had that bag of chips the whole bag of chips you know i had that stuff and it's because i thought it was okay well the next thing you know the next day i'm craving that stuff again it's not that i just you know have to have it but i didn't have the craving before i ate the bag of potato chips and then the next day oh i want some more potato chips well you know what i'm just gonna get another bag of potato chips 20 pounds down the road i'm like oh my god i've got to lose some weight uh, anyway, so I'm almost home, but, and I understand that this has just been a ridiculous rant, but, you know, I got mad at myself, you know, for, because I caught myself and it's not often that I've ever caught myself feeling the way that I did. So, you know, I was proud of myself for catching it and then proud of myself for stepping up, going to run, uh, getting my exercise out of the way. Um, anyway, so that's it. Uh, I'm running out of light. So <laughs> everybody have a great night and uh, we'll catch you later.